to MG C4 golf ball with the Bushmill and Bogey logo. We're going to take these on the course and see how they perform. Welcome back to another installment of Bush Mills and Bogies, a middle-aged bearded fat man's quest to consistently shoot in the 80s. My name is Andy. I am and will always be that fat man. And this is my quest. All right, now it's really dark. This footage was recorded a little before I figured out the ND filter settings. Car cam. Three words. Green and regulation from 195 to boot with the floor iron. Good putt. Birdie opportunity here. Um, just want to fill you in on the settings. I got the ND filter for the for the lens, and it's. As soon as we came out here, it got a little overcast, so I don't know what the picture's going to look like. One of these days, I'll get the video quality right. Today, it doesn't seem like today's going to be the day, but bear with me. Broad crew. <laughs> Mad hits. Car cam. <laughs> uh, on the 5th tee box here, Toft Trees Golf Resort. Uh, just parred that as you saw in the footage. Uh, we're chugging along here. Uh, we're not going to break any speed records, but hey, uh, you know, they warned us before we came out that it was going to be a long, you know, they, they're up front with you here. They're not, they're not going to jerk you around. Um, so, uh, we like it and, you know, we're in real no hurry today. It's Friday. Friday night, just got paid. It's Friday night. Remember that song? I do. Who was that? I know the NSYNC, I think, did a cover. I don't know who did the original though. I'll have to look that up. So far, these uh, MG4s, uh, I'm impressed. Uh, hitting them really well. The durability seems to be good. We're here on, what's this, six? This is six. Uh, six, and uh, the only thing is, I lost the logo. Now, hard, it was an extra, here's before. And here's after. Now they were only an extra two dollars a dozen for the logo, and it felt like it was just kind of applicated on, like a sticker almost. But um, they look good for a novelty, right? You know. Hey, you get what you pay for. But I'm very pleased with the overall quality of the golf ball. Hopefully, we'll get some shots in for you right here. Now, as soon as I turn the camera on and start filming, this is when I start ducking everything myself. Thumb away from the belly, bend over. Loose grip. Start with my shoulder. And roll it up on the green. To quote the fat man, green <laughs> in regulation. Well, I bet you it rolled off. 
in uh, Golf WRX said that he shot 10 shots, took the five best off a track man with uh, this ball and a Pro V1, and this ball out outperformed the Pro V1. Now, I don't know what his swing looks like. Oh, Billy. Oh, Billy, dude. Bogey again. Thirty cam is not kind. Oh, the agony. Well, the bogey or better train has left the station. Uh, I pretty much three putted that for a a six the fringe was like 10 feet long so i don't even know if you could count that that first one is not a putt but i'm going to because it technically was on the fringe um but i got a six so double uh we're on eight here uh steve by the way birdied that hole um birdied it with with this ball yeah i let him use one of the uh, mgs and he took it to town so we're gonna finish up eight and nine here and uh head on out into the sunset all right we just finished nine holes with the mg4 or the mg c4 and uh it the durability wise it held up pretty good other than the logo uh coming off um i'll show you what it started off with the logo like that and now the logo is completely gone. You, you can just see like a little portion of it. But like I said, it was cheap to get the logo on. But um, I'm going to have a review of this ball um, coming up. All in all, I was really impressed with this golf ball. It's a three-piece urethane cover that was very durable. Um, it had... It gave me some of my longest driving distances. I'm not a long hitter by any stretch of the imagination, but it gave me some of my uh, longer drives uh, of the summer so far. Um, it was a fairway finder. As you can see, I hit six of seven fairways and three of nine uh, greens, and that carried over to the Madison Club from uh, the video a couple uh, weeks ago. I used this same ball on that course and hit eight of 14 fairways. So... I have no idea why I'm not gaming this ball, um, so maybe I will. Uh, it's something to think of. I still have a boatload of TP5 pixels, so you know I'm not made of money here. So I'll probably exhaust that stock, and then I'm going to give this a real uh, long consideration. And that's going to do it for this week's video. As always, thanks for tuning in, and remember, a bush in the hand is worth two in the bird. We'll see you next time.